بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹ آئی ہوپ یو آل آر فائن بائی دا گریس آف المائٹی اللہ ویلکم ٹو یو آل ان دا فرسٹ آن لائن کلاس آف فزکس ان وچ آئی ول گیو دا کمپلیٹ انسٹرکشن ریگارڈنگ ٹو یور بک اینڈ نوٹ بک دیٹ ہاؤ یو ول اسٹارٹ اٹ سو It's physics textbook of grade 9. In this book, half of the chapters we will cover in class 8 and the rest of the units we will cover in class 9 inshallah. So you all have your books and notebooks with you. Now move on to the notebook. that how you fill the stem of the card cover of your notebook now on the screen you can easily see that here is a stem on the card cover of the notebook in which all the bio data related to you is given so fill it carefully with black marker don't use any ink pen or blue marker for this Now first you have your serial number so leave this line empty because you are not clear about your serial number In the second line there is name so write your complete name with black marker the first letter of your name will be capital and the rest of the letters will small In the third line you have the class so mention class 8th then section so you will write your respective sections the last line is of subject so in the subject you will write the physics now move on to the inside the card cover you will start from the serial number now again you leave this line because you are not clear about your serial number then write your complete name after this class mention your class and section in subject you will write physics branch in branch you will write girls too then session in session you will write 2021-22 now rest of all the li lines you will leave it the teacher names the copy condition marks and the term exam you will lead leave it okay now you will start your work from the very first page don't leave any page and write neatly and carefully now the page should be blocked properly with black marker and lines should be straight and write all the all the headings with blue marker and the first letter should be in two lines and the rest of the letters in one line now how you work or write your course content on the first page now look at the screen carefully the course content for may term write this heading properly and neatly in block letters don't use small letters for this heading the following units will be covered during mid term 2021 unit number 1 physical quantities and measurements and unit 2 kinematics so in the mid term we will cover inshallah our two units first and second 
Listen carefully all the instructions and closely zoom your screen. After writing the course content, on the next page, you will start the paper format for the midterm exam as well as for the final exam. Now, mention your subject that is physics. The heading subject total marks time note. It will be with blue marker. Total marks will be 65 and time of this paper is 3 hours. Now write the heading of note and start in para form. There are three sections in this paper that is A, B and C. Attempt section A on the same paper and return it within the given time. No marks will be awarded for cutting, erasing or overwriting. Let's start the heading of section A. For section A, we have only 15 minutes. And in 15 minutes, we will return our answer sheet. Marks will be 12. So here, 12 MCQs shall be given. Each carries one mark. One appropriate bubble or circle should be shaded. Options will be given in the form of bubbles or circle. Then write the heading of section B. The time allowed for section B and C is 2 hours and 45 minutes. And the marks 32. Now in section B, answer any 8 parts. Each part carries 4 marks. 11 parts will be given to you out of which 8 parts will have to be done. Then section C. In section C marks 21 and there is a note. Attempt any 3 questions. All questions carry equal marks. Question number 3. Now Every question has two parts, A and B. In part A, you will write, you will have theory or proof. And in part B, you have the numerical or problem. So, each question carry equal marks, 7. Same question number 4, theory part A and part B problem. Then question number 5, it has also same pattern part A and part B. And then question number 6. So here 4 questions will be given to you and you will solve any 3 questions. So I hope it will be clear to you. Now all the headings must be properly underlined and all the headings must be shaded from both sides. Okay. You will follow all the instructions which I am giving to you regarding to the, your presentation. And do your work neatly. Now let's we start our book. Now it's your book of physics for grade 9. Let's start unit number one, which name is physical quantities and measurement. All the quantities we deal in physics require measurements because without measurement, nothing is possible. Measurement is not only a key concern in physics. In our daily life, we are always making measurements. For example, read your watch. You are making a measurement. When you check your weight, when you take your temperature, when you pour out milk for cake better, or even when you go to the tailor shop before sewing our clothes, he takes the required measurements. So measurements has a vital role in our daily life. Introduction to Physics 
Man has always been curious and excited to know how and why behind the working of n functions of different things. He want to find the answer of how and why. He asked the basic questions like, how did the universe begin? How does it change? How does the universe change? And what rules govern its behavior? That it means that what are the different rules which are applied to govern the behavior of the universe? What is the history of the universe? Why do things fall to the ground? Why does the moon seem to change the shape during the month? What goes inside the sun to make it hot? So, physics is that science which give the answer of all these questions. All of these phenomena in the universe involve the study of matter and energy. Now, what is physics? We can define it as physics is the branch of science that involves the study of physical universe, energy, matter and how they are related. So, shortly, physics is the study of matter and energy and their mutual relationship. Now, what is matter? Anything which occupies space and has mass, it is matter. There are four states of matter, solid, liquid, gas and plasma. However, energy, the ability to do work, is called energy and there are different forms of energy which are interconvertible to each other for example light energy sound energy heat energy mechanical energy electrical energy chemical energy so there are different forms of energy so the study of this energy and the matter and their mutual relationship it is called physics Now, history of physics. Physics derived from a Greek term, which means nature. It is historically the term to designate the study of natural phenomena. Also natural philosophy till early in the 19th century. The aim of physics to understand and predict how nature works. Everything in nature obeys the laws of physics. Everything we build also obeys the laws of physics. So, the study of physics is to understand the world around us. The world inside us and the world beyond us. Physics covers a wide range of phenomena from the smallest subatomic particles to the largest galaxies and universe. Physicists investigate the motions of electrons and the rockets, how the electrons move in their fixed orbit and how the rockets move. So, it's all due to physics. Now, physicists also study the energy in sound waves. A wave that transfers sound through matter is a sound wave. So, it is physics in which we study about the sound wave and the electric circuits. The physicists also investigate about the structure of proton and of the universe. That how the protons are present in the nucleus. So, these all are the different discoveries which are possible due to physics. So, we can say physics has the vital role in all the universe. 
or the world inside us and the world beyond us. And it is physics due to which we understand the whole world around us. So, it was the short introduction of physics. I hope that it is all clear to you. So, till the next class, Allah Hafiz, take care of yourself and be safe in your homes.